Will you take responsibility, Prime Minister? Another big day for the Prime Minister as the report into parties at Downing Street and other government buildings finally hit our screens. It was put together by Sue Gray, a senior civil servant. She has spent weeks looking into what happened behind those famous doors behind me at number 10 Downing Street to find out what happened at those parties and gatherings which weren't allowed to happen at a time when many of us were told to stay at home and restrictions were in place about who we could spend time with. The report itself was 12 pages long, which might sound a lot, but actually it wasn't the full report. Sue Gray said she was asked to leave key details out. That's because there's now a criminal investigation going on by the police, and some of the information Sue Gray wanted to put in her report had to be removed. So what's inside the report? Well, we found out the police are now investigating 12 events, including that garden party at 10 Downing Street and a gathering inside the Prime Minister's flat. The report said that all of us in Britain were asked to behave with high standards while the pandemic was going on, but that some of the people working in government didn't do that. It said there were failures of leadership at Downing Street, meaning that the people in charge there didn't do what they were supposed to. And it said it was wrong to hold these events when people around the country were being told to stay at home or couldn't meet up with everyone they wanted to. Once again, the Prime Minister faced a lot of angry questions from politicians inside that building behind me, the Houses of Parliament. Now, that dramatic showdown went on for almost two hours. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Firstly, I want to say sorry. And I'm sorry for the things we simply didn't get right and also sorry for the way that this matter has been handled. We are making changes now to the way Downing Street and the Cabinet Office run. Mr Speaker, I get it and I will fix it. Prime Minister, the British public aren't fools. They never believed a word of it. They think the Prime Minister should do the decent thing and resign. Yeah. Either my right honourable friend had not read the rules or didn't understand what they meant and others around him, or they didn't think the rules applied to number 10. Which was it? Another long day for Boris Johnson. The Prime Minister still under a lot of pressure.